Today we'll be taking a look at another Paul Heyman theory, latest with Sonia and Naomi, as well as AJ and Omos. Let's start things off with another Paul Heyman theory. So Paul Heyman is now teasing his retirement. He said that if he can't be by Roman's side, his career is most likely over. We talked about a theory on how Paul Heyman could find his way back to Roman Reigns by double-crossing Brock Lesnar. But there's another fun theory and idea floating around out there regarding Paul Heyman's next move. Fans have brought up the question of, what if Paul Heyman joins forces with Seth Rollins to challenge Roman Reigns? Roman Reigns vs Seth Rollins is one of those dream matchups for this Tribal Chief title reign that we haven't seen yet. Everyone knows that Roman will have a few more matches with Brock Lesnar, possibly meet Drew McIntyre down the line, but outside of that, unless they really build someone up, there's no one on SmackDown that could be seen as a credible threat to Roman Reigns besides those two. But who really would be a credible threat is Seth Rollins. It's weird, we've talked about this a handful of times, but throughout 2021, WWE teased Seth Rollins vs Roman Reigns so much during the year that everyone assumed we would definitely get that feud, but it never happened. Following WrestleMania 37 and his feud with Cesaro, Seth Rollins had shifted all of his attention to Roman Reigns and the Universal title picture. Seth was shown going to Adam Pearce and Sony Deville's office a handful of times to request a title match with Roman Reigns, but was always ignored. What made Seth really lose his mind was when Edge came back from being gone for months and just instantly got a title match with Roman Reigns at Money in the Bank. Seth didn't like how Edge skipped the line fresh off his couch and that ignited their feud. But even after that feud was over, Seth never made it to the Universal title picture and was drafted to Raw. So it was a bit deflating as a viewer because we were teased all year long for that feud and Seth going to Raw just fully ended all that speculation and hype. We saw Seth Rollins interact and have issues with the Usos earlier in the year. Seth had to talk these issues over with Roman in the locker room. They seemed cool with each other. They squashed everything. But Seth Rollins said that if he had issues with the Usos, that he and Roman will have a problem. And that's really where they left us at with that entire tease. With Seth saying that line, it seemed like confirmation that they'll cross paths again, but it never happened. So with this theory, fans are saying, okay, what if Heyman doesn't go back to Brock or Roman? Instead, he joins forces with another big threat to Roman, like Seth Rollins. Only hole with this theory is that Seth is on Raw. Obviously, it'll be really hard to have him randomly show up on SmackDown. But Paul Heyman is a powerful man who can pull strings, so maybe you can find a cover up to that big hole. But Heyman joining forces with someone that's a big threat to Roman, such as Seth Rollins, would be an interesting idea. When it comes to knowing Roman outside of his family members, Seth Rollins is the only superstar who knows him the best. They debuted with each other, held tag team titles with each other, spent years together, even feuded for the world titles in years past. So when it comes to just knowing Roman Reigns and having all this personal information about him, no one knows more about Roman Reigns than Seth Rollins. Plus, this feud will allow us to look back at their time in the Shield together, so that will really add a nice layer of depth to the story as well. So Seth Rollins coming over to SmackDown may still be unlikely at this current moment, but hopefully, maybe even through a wildcard appearance. If that's even still a thing, we could see Seth Rollins vs Roman Reigns take place in the future. Either way, Heyman's next move is going to be something very interesting for sure. Sonya Deville vs Naomi has been one of the longer term storylines we've seen on SmackDown, dating back to last summer. This storyline officially turned Sonya Deville heel, since she was being cruel and unfair against Naomi for no reason. Naomi just wanted an opportunity to prove herself. Sonya didn't even want to give her the smallest chance. So that was the real foundation of this story and they've been building on it ever since. We've seen some reused and repeated moments during the feud, but besides that, it's been a great story that majority of fans have been loving so far. Well now, there's some reports on the backstage reaction to Sonya and Naomi's storyline. Reports claim that this long-term storyline has been well-received backstage by everyone, 
and everyone has loved how it's been unfolding so far. Fightful claims that the staff and producers have been nothing but very excited about this feud. Why is this storyline long term? And why has it been going on forever? Well, it's a big story because of Sony Deville's return. She still technically hasn't competed since SummerSlam 2020. Sure, she's competed in a handicap match during the fall and even came out in her new ring gear a few weeks ago, but technically speaking, she still hasn't made her official return to the ring. We've seen a lot of teases for her return, but we haven't seen it actually happen yet. So that's the real big moment that's still being hinted at for this story. Sonya hasn't wrestled in well over a year and a half, so it's a big return story for her character. It's also been a big story because of Naomi's involvement as well. This has been the first time in quite some time that Naomi has been involved with a big storyline herself. Naomi has been active in recent years, but she really hasn't been a part of a highly featured storyline like this since probably dating back to her Mandy Rose feud from a few years ago. So it's a return to the spotlight for both Sonia Deville and Naomi. So that's why it's been getting so much time and build up. All we're waiting for now is of course the big payoff of seeing Naomi vs Sonya Deville one on one with zero outside interference. That's what we want, that's what everyone is waiting to see. That seems like it'll be the climax of this specific storyline, finally getting to see Naomi vs Sonya. And of course, with Naomi being the underdog babyface here, majority of fans will be rooting for her to come out on top. It'll be great to see Sonya back in the ring, and you really don't want her to lose her first match back. But it seems like Naomi would be the one to pick up the big win during the first meeting. The good thing with this storyline is that it can honestly progress with either woman winning. If Sonya cheats again and finds a way to beat Naomi one on one, that's going to lead to a rematch. And on the other hand, if Naomi wins, maybe even gets a couple of wins over Sonya, she's going to have a real case to enter SmackDown Women's title picture and make some noise there. So it's an interesting storyline that should hopefully have some great payoffs for all these months of buildup and storytelling. Speaking of big storylines, that brings us to Omos and AJ Styles. After months and months of being together as a team, AJ and Omos recently split up on Raw. The breakup got a few mixed reactions from fans. It was supposed to be this big breakup, but there were some fans that talked about how it felt a bit flat and didn't really like this massive deal. But either way, AJ Styles and Omos will now enter a feud with each other. With AJ's career coming towards an end in the next few years, and Omos being a young and upcoming star, everyone expects for Omos to make quick work of AJ Styles during this feud, so we'll have to keep our eye on that story and how it unfolds. But what are your thoughts on today's stories? Leave your comments below. Don't forget to subscribe with all notifications on and leave a like if you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, guys.